And Herman today is the council chairman of City University of Hong Kong. And uh, the reason why we're here is because the you know, city here has been so supportive of the event. And uh, the university has been supporting, meaning that, you know, providing some food and drinks. And the venue, it's a beautiful venue. And it's all because of, you know, people like Herman and his uh, staff, you know, professors, faculty members, and admin staff. So we're so grateful to have Herman, people like Herman, you know, would do something like that to help SDC and help SDC would in turn help you guys to uh, learn things that you don't, you don't learn in a classroom, okay? We actually do things outside academia, you know that. Uh, you want to say a few words? Sure. Yeah, so Mr. Hu will say a few words. We call him Herman, okay? Yeah, it says call me Herman and uh, uh, Philip just uh, told me what I do at the CDU, uh, but I'm an engineer by profession. I was uh, educated in the United States, uh, UC Berkeley, uh, doing uh, electrical engineering. And then uh, later on, I went to uh, Harvard Business School uh, to do some management. And then uh, I've been working in Hong Kong uh, since then, all my life. Uh, I have only one employer, who is my father. <laughs> I can't fire him and he can't fire me. We are stuck with each other. And uh, Philip, good friend of ours, and uh, uh, but we fight each other out on the tennis courts. He's better, he's better tennis No, 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 no. Sometimes the wind change. Uh, well, welcome to uh, City U. Uh, and uh, before I go, I just like to uh, tell you that I have uh, agreed with Philip that I will be speaking to you on a um, very interesting topic that is close to the heart of many people, non-academic, in November, uh, when we have the uh, date closer to the dates. I will see uh, what we are going to do. So uh, please watch out to, with the uh, circular and uh, try to support me and come to the November meeting. Wish you all the best. This is still in the uh, Chinese New Year season and I wish you all uh, good health, good fortune, and uh, especially, uh, what do you say in English? Uh, which is uh, do well in your uh, schoolwork. Uh, yeah. Okay. Please enjoy. See you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Watch out. Right now, well, Herman has promised me that he's going to be the speaker in November, right? Can, can I say a little bit about that one? Can I leak out a little I'll secret? You, and you know, Herman wears many hats in Hong Kong, and he sits on so many government boards, company boards and all that, and he's actually the guy who's doing Olympics for Hong Kong. He's sitting on an Olympic committee. Okay, without further ado, you know, I think, you know, we're going to bring on our guest speaker tonight, Dr. Berger. Good evening, and Kumi Fachoi also from my side. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Philip, for inviting uh, me, inviting BSF to give you a yeah, presentation about BSF and a little bit also about the culture uh, of BSF, which is um, um, also coming along uh, with a big chemical company uh, based in Germany. Um, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. Um, yeah, just call me Woody, I think that's easier than Dr. Böttger. Yeah. And I'm um, 51 years old, um, married to Dagmar. Ah. Um, uh, three kids. And actually, I'm already in Hong Kong and Asia for the second time. Uh, we went there for the first time in 98, uh, just married, um, double income, no kids, enjoying Hong Kong. Um, then moving on to Shanghai, um, returned to Germany with two kids, married in China. 
And um, yeah, apart from spending then a couple of years um, mostly in finance or in controlling positions, also in uh, major restructuring projects of the company, uh, at the end also in business. And now we are here for the second time, uh, um, looking very much forward to the years uh, to go. Hong Kong is a great city, and uh, I'm also very happy um, that um, I can meet students here tonight. And uh, therefore, we also brought uh, other colleagues from BSF who will also then mix and mingle after the, after the presentation. And you can address all sorts of questions uh, that you would like to ask from an internship to what it is about working in a, in a German multinational company. It's not only about quantity, but it's also about quality, uh, good food, healthy food. Um, it's about quality of life, where do we live, how do we uh, move from A to B, um, what do we have in our fridge, um, um, how do we um, get access to healthcare, and basically chemistry is an industry that can provide solutions to all of these problems. Yeah. Again, in order to give you an impression of the business, 50%, 55% of the sales are still uh, European-based, but already 17% uh, is based in Asia. A um, little bit smaller, but very close in the neck uh, of uh, North America. Yeah. And, um, South America is much smaller. Um, now, growth rates are coming a little bit down. But nevertheless, uh, um, the market is, uh, is of much bigger size um, and, uh, and also con consumers are, are changing. It's a more demand consumer um, place, therefore we need more uh, R&D, specifically for Asia. Yeah. China is the other 50% and also China is not China. There are many provinces with different growth uh, patterns. The biggest growth uh, you will see in the, the dark colored um, provinces. Um, this is the West Belt, yeah, with the slowest growth. Um, China will focus more, much more, according to the 13th five year plan on sustainability. We have a lot of solutions for this, and therefore we, uh, we think that um, China has also good leverage in order to, to promote modern um, chemical technology. As a chemical industry, your license to operate is actually sustainability. And because you're always, uh, um, people are always suspicious uh, that you produce uh, toxics and release them into the air. Um, therefore, um, sustainability is very high on our agenda. We are discussing with standard setters um, in, in China. Uh, when I was uh, in Pudong, um, we regularly had visits from, from the authorities to our dangerous goods warehouses, showed them how, how you organize such a thing. And um, But we are not only having our standards and, uh, and committees together with neighborhoods and, and with NGOs, we also have a lot of um, uh, systematic approach to sustainability, from uh, the supply to the production uh, and to the consumer. So we have regular audits of our suppliers, yeah? so no child labor. Yeah? We are visiting uh, the suppliers, we are checking what they do, um, and uh, um, we, we also urge them uh, to use transportation that is uh, sustainable and not dangerous. Um, we, we also have a, here a commitment for, for sustainable farm oil uh, production. Um, so we would only buy from producers that, uh, uh, that do this in a sustainable way. Now, what to eat and what to, now what to eat with, uh, with wine is also important. It works well with mild seasoned dishes, yeah, like fish, pasta, rice. Uh, it doesn't work very well with very spicy food, um, or with very curry food, or you know, food that is uh, sweet and sour. Um, that doesn't fit together, then you have better BRT or, or water. It doesn't work at all with ice cream. Yeah? If you eat ice cream, your tongue will be in insomnia for the next two hours, at least for, for wine. Therefore, think about the order. And um, you yeah, also have the right temperature. Uh, room temperature in Hong Kong is too hot. <laughs> room temperature in Hong Kong, yeah, that is uh, mostly above 20 degrees. 
and, and then the, this, um, the whole flavor will disappear. Therefore, um, have a fridge and, um, and cool it down and, and the taste will be much better. It will anyway warm up um, once it's, uh, it's on the table. And um, yeah, the more white it is, the cold it should be, uh, the more red the wine is, uh, a little bit warmer. Uh, you can have it in order to enjoy. Yeah, your, your taste buds are very uh, sensitive. Yeah? Don't overcharge them. Um, they, will, they like a certain order. Um, they like to start with, with dry and light, uh, and then you can go to heavy, and at the end you can go to sweet. Um, if you drink it in the different order, then everything will taste completely different, and you actually won't enjoy it anymore. Therefore, try to to accelerate, and then uh, then you have the most out of it. Yeah, then there are these artists in the world who can uh, distinguish 50 different uh, tastes of food or or, or whatever uh, out of a wine, and um, and they will always. Um, um, yeah, beat you. It's impossible to um, to, to copy that. Um, therefore, it's much more important to find out what you like. Uh, it's not so important to say this is lemon and this is maracuja and this is passion fruit. It's much more important that you find out I like this one or I like I like that one. How to find out? Uh, very easy. You buy some whites from one producer uh, here in Hong Kong and at the big stores. You you can get. Uh, a good variety from one single producer, you know, like Wolf Blast or from um, Petfolds or whatever it is. You buy a, a variety of white, or you buy a variety of reds from the same producer. Then you invite a couple of nice friends. Someone's cooking food. And then you have a nice evening, discover wine, eat with friends, and discuss the world. And I think that we have a nice entrance to the world of wine. Thank you. Thank you.